Hello. In this lecture, uh, we will discuss about the medicated oils, which are also known as tel, as a Dr. Bhushan came to. These are few of the medicated formulations such as Narayana Tel, Murshit Tel, Chitrakadi Tel, or Sahacharadi Tel. There are few more medicated formulations or medicated oils which are routinely used for massaging uh, and generally they are of external use but there are few more formulation as well which are intended for internal use then by definition of ayurvedic pharmacopoeia goes like it is a preparation in which oil is boiled with prescribed drugs or the decoctions of the drugs and certain drug paste according to the formula that means yes, these are the formulations that are either medicated oil or sometimes they may also be an emulsion so then is specifically using only oil whereas there is a similar formulation called as grita which makes the use of cow ghee that is clarified butter as the base for the formulation so it involves three major components drug oil phase and aqueous phase the process ensures the absorption of active therapeutic properties of the ingredients used that means which drugs are used those are complete completely imbibed into the oil that is generally most of the phytoconstituents which are lipophilic forms the part of the active ingredients these medicated oil the method of preparation of this medicated oil is like uh, as I told you, there are three essential components. One is called as Drava. Drava means aqueous phase. Now this aqueous phase can be Kasaya, that is decoction of fruit drugs. Swarasa, that is juices of fruits or leaves or entire plant. Dukt means milk and Mastu means very similar to this uh, or even uh, buttermilk can also be one of the drava second kalk kalk is the active ingredient that is crude crude drugs which are converted into fine powder and a smooth paste is prepared out of it then snehad Sneha Dravya means oil phase. Generally, the oils or oil phase used in the case of Taila is uh, sesame oil or uh, Murchita Taila. Murchita Taila means the sesame oil is uh, treated with certain other crude drugs or boiled. And the major component in that is uh, turmeric and black pepper. Now these turmeric and black pepper ensures the proper bioavailability of the active ingredient. That ingredient that means they help the active ingredient to pass through a particular layer, especially the skin layer. formula for this is the crude drugs are taken as one part four parts of oil phase and 16 parts of aqueous phase this is very general formula if at all if nothing is mentioned this formula is to be followed that is drug one part lipo component four parts and aqueous phase 16 parts although there are few exceptions for this rule like uh, if no aqueous phase is prescribed in that case 
that this phase should be sh used should be of water in the same proportion one part drop four part oil and 16 parts of water should be used where aqueous phase is a decoction of drug or crude drugs in that case one part of drug is used six part of oil phase should be used and 16 parts of water should be used where aqueous phase is juice like plant juice or buttermilk or curd in that case one part of drug eight part of oil phase should be used and four parts of water now you can see here the aqueous phase has been reduced completely now this third category specifically is used to prepare an emulsion when no aqueous phase or the number of aqueous phase are four or less so suppose if you are using buttermilk plus water plus plant juices now these become three aqueous phases in that case one part of drug four part of oil phase and 16 part of aqueous phase now in this 16 part each should be divided equally if they are there are four phases four as to four as four parts of water four part of uh, buttermilk four part of so suppose juices and etc other if they are three then they need to be used only in 12 parts that means 4 as to 4 as to 4 now exactly the opposite case if so suppose number of aqueous phases are 5 or more there one part of drug four part of oil phase and each ingredient or each aqueous phase should be used in four parts that means whatever is the weight of oil phase similar should be the weight of every aqueous phase used now in this case suppose one part of drug and four part of oil is used so therefore four part of water or four part of curd four part of milk four part of buttermilk four part of juices can be used then if drugs are not mentioned in that case the decoction what you are using for aqueous phase as we have seen in the earlier slide that decoction can also be one of aqueous phase so here decoction is used if drugs are not mentioned Next, the second step or third step of uh, this method of preparation is boiling. Once you have uh, collected the ingredient, taken into the finite preparation, now you need to boil it. Drugs, that is active ingredients, plus aqueous phase are mixed together first. Then the oil phase is added and boiled on mild fire. Now, this is the kin therein um, heating is carried out. It is stirred continuously so that the oil gets mixed into the water phase, aqueous phase. As it is immiscible, but in the stirring, the presence of the drugs they and heat, they help the oil to dissolve into it. Sometimes, if say, suppose, uh, as we have discussed in the earlier slide, if there are more than one aqueous phase, it can be three, four, five, whatever. Each and every aqueous phase should be added in succession. That means, if you are adding, uh, uh, if the process uh, makes use of any aqueous phases like cow milk, butter milk juices and water so suppose these are four ac different aqueous phases now the formula also specifies which of these four aqueous phases should be added first like if you uh, cow milk 
and then what is to be added so everything every aqueous phase should be added in succession one after the other and before adding the second aqueous phase heating should be carried out so that the first aqueous phase gets completely evaporated now this can be determined by the formation of bubbles next stage is stirring continuous stirring is very very essential even in formulation or uh, during uh, making bakery products uh, many of us might have noticed that when you are adding egg phase to the water phase you need to continuously stir or during formation of emulsions also you need to stir the contents vigorously in presence of the emulsifier so this is one kind of an emulsion not exactly an emulsion but similar to that when all the added aqueous phases are evaporated moisture see the aqueous phase has more amount of moisture so heat will take the moisture from the aqueous phase first later on the crude drug which is in added in the form of paste now this paste is also prepared in the presence of water so once evap the aqueous phases are evaporated slowly moisture in the crude also begins to evaporate now at this stage care has to be taken that many a times it happens the contents of the active ingredients they settle at the bottom and they might stick to the container so it needs very vigorous stirring at this stage contents are to be stirred more oftenly and more carefully next stage is the how long should we heat it now this uh, when should we stop heating or how to determine the completion of formulation there are pack the pack means it is the consistency at which you need to stop heating consistency of the ingredients in the uh, vessel is to be determined as we have determined in the case of avaleha there are various uh, pack consistency very similarly here also we need to determine the consistency or the completion of thaila first kind of thaila is called as mrudu pak mrudu pak means it is soft it is waxy and when you are rolling it between index finger and thumb it should roll like lac lac or we can say uh, clay it should roll like that uh, although it will be like a liquid but once you take it in two finger and you start rolling it it should form a very small waxy ball and should not stick to the fingers second consistency type is madhyam pak madhyam pak means even if you heat the mrudu pak further it will convert into madhyam or moderate kind of consistency moderate consistency is slightly harder and when you put it in fire it burns without a crack without producing a crackling sound this is called as madhyam pak khara pak khara pak means it is slightly gritty or the consistency when you are rolling it between two fingers it you it will give you a gritty feeling plus when you are adding it to the fire it burns with a crackling sound now these are the three different stages prescribed for different formulation certain formulations are to be heated only up to the first stage that is mrudu or soft consistency second up to madhyam few more formulations are of madhyam pak and few are of khara pak if you are still heating it further beyond khara pak consistency there are chances that it may convert it into a very hard mass which is called as dagad pak or very hard stone like consistency which is not fit for use when the oil attains the correct 
consistency it the froth appears now this depends upon the formulation if you are uh, what type of formulation uh, form uh, ingredients you are using after losing the moisture from the ingredient immediately oil starts showing froth now you can see here the froth appears now this also is one of the indication to stop heating see if the oil fails there are certain formula in which sugar is also mentioned in that case it is to be first converted into fine powder and should be added to the final product now these sugars are mentioned usually for uh, oil those are intended for internal use or sometimes sugar also acts as uh, an emulsifier along with curd then mrutu pak sneha uh, the various different pak consistencies are prescribed different uh, route of administration or different uh, purposes like so suppose sneha sneha means addition of oil into the nostrils if you want to add the oil into the nostril its consistency should be very soft or it should be a very less viscous that is mrutu pak now see here madhyam pak means the consistency should be slightly higher now this kind of thing is used for vasti vasti means here with the help of clay or with the help of uh, dough uh, circle or square is uh, prepared uh, well like um, mm, shape is created on a specific body part and to this warm oil is added. so now this well helps the oil to remain on the particular part for a longer duration so this kind of wells can be created uh, at different location or depending upon the area that is affected and khara pak means more viscous pak is used for a uh, massaging purpose when garlic or certain salts if they are prescribed then they need to be added uh, uh, in the oil only oil phase or the and then it is to be filtered now this can be done between the process of formulation or during the process of formulation now the characteristics how to determine the completion of the formulation characteristics of oil is the color odor and the taste that depends upon the drugs those are used in the formulation plus the consistency of the formulation throughout should be like an oil it should be very similar to that of oil but if it is a gritta the consistency will be like that of a cow ghee if milk is used oil becomes thick as we know if you are adding milk to oil it gives whitish kind of emulsion so if milk is used the oil becomes thick due to formation of gritta and in cold season such gritta may condense further to form solid mass as we have we all have noticed that if you are taking coconut oil from the jar in cold season it is it becomes harder or uh, solidified very similar but this does not means that here the oil is um, degraded no in cold season in presence of milk only it will show solidification preservation the oil should be placed or stored in a glass or sometimes polythene or aluminum containers to retain potency the pr preparations which are meant for internal use can be stored for 16 months about the evaluation of these medicated oils uh usually we perform color odor taste and these are as per the drugs used then refractive index 
congealing range it is very similar to solidification point exactly opposite to boiling or melting point then boiling range since these are a mixture they will not give exact point boiling point so they will have a range then specific gravity thin layer chromatography certain chemical tests to determine the purity of the oil say for example the test for sesamol in case of uh, uh, sesame oil is used then the test for de uh, determination of uh, rancidity or quality of the oil like acid value sap value ester value iodine value peroxide and unsaponifiable matter the references ayurvedic pharmacopoeia volume 2